and we back, baby, second time in a week. Uh, okay, we're going to watch along um, with me. Uh, I'm going to watch the highlights of today's El Clasico, which is pretty exciting for me because, like I said, um, I've been trying to watch the past, like, couple of classicos for the past five or six years i've been working usually because they take place at like 12 on a sunday or saturday and i've been working so i can't see them and i'm hella bummed and i'm looking at updates on my phone as i'm working usually these times and it's even more stressful at least when you're watching the game you're allowed to go through the stress and uh you know live the game as it's happening but when you're just reading updates it's pretty terrifying especially if you're a real madrid fan and you know the lead is like slim I'm not going to lie. I love these El Clasicos. Like, I'm a Madrid fan, but I just love the drama of the both both teams. The ugliness they bring out in each other. Should I hide that label? I don't even know how this fucking copyright shit works in videos. But whatever. From the looks of the stats, while I was uh, following the game on my phone at work... Barcelona had over 600 completed passes to Real Madrid's 200-something. That's unreal. And they had 80% of possession the last time I checked and updated it. Of course, that wasn't the stats at full time, but I'd be very curious to see. Look, it sounds like Barcelona were allowed to have the bulk of possession. It's just, of course, Real Madrid were more critical coming out with the win. So, we'll see what's up. So far in the highlights, we're eight minutes in. It just looks like Barcelona's been doing what they've been doing the past, you know, countless Clásicos, bulking, dominating the possession, and Real Madrid's looking to be lethal on the counterattack. They're quite content to just sit sit back. But that's the thing, though, right? I mean, Real Madrid is willing to play the counterattack. It's just that they're so confident in their ability to get forward in creative ways that Barcelona isn't ready for that they're willing to do that. I would say the most attacking team that we've ever seen uh, out of Real Madrid in recent years has been Carlo Ancelotti's Madrid. Even Zidane's Madrid, who studied under Ancelotti that one year, even Zidane's Madrid is much more a counterattacking team, which is fine. I mean, they've been solid at defending, but, you know, the, the Jose Mourinho years, we were very content to sit back and defend. I'm not saying we, I mean, the fucking players. Uh, Real Madrid was very content to sit back. Uh here we go. We got Fredo Valverde making a run upfield from the defensive half. Now they're in the final third. And that's just a fucking amazing goal by Benzema. I mean, it it's stupefying. Hold on. Let me listen to Ray Hudson's commentary. It's got to be nuts. Just give me a moment, please. Wow, Fede Valverde is an amazing talent, is he, at such a young age? I don't really know a player like him. I, I would say maybe N'Golo Conte. But I, I, I don't know. N'Golo Conte is a little different as well. Fede Valverde is just a powerful Swiss Army knife, kind of like Nacho in the team. He can... That's fucking amazing. Benzema, okay. Speaking of Felder Valverde is one thing, you know, kind of a young, somewhat unproven talent, uh, although he can deliver. Benzema is like a fucking, probably the most slept on striker in the world. He has to be. I mean, who the fuck else would be? I mean, the kind of form Benzema is in right now, of course, he didn't have that in other points of his career. But in my opinion, I knew Real Madrid fans who would want to sell Benzema like one or two years ago, and I always was the one, you know, vouching for him to them. God, he's a fucking amazing player. Barcelona gets a free kick, 18th minute, Lionel Messi taking it. God, Lionel Messi's got to be pissed, huh? His fucking whole squad is fucking... They're trash, bro. I mean, imagine being a great-ass player like him, the greatest of all time in my opinion, as a Real Madrid fan. Greatest of all time. And um, 
you got to deal with all these new players who think they're the shit and then they come to your team and can't deliver. You got Benzema on the free kick, 23 minutes in. About, yeah, 15, 20 yards out. Ah, shit. Do you see that shit about Jurgen Klopp shitting on the uh, Alfredo Di Stefano Stadium? I'm a fucking Jurgen Klopp fan. I'm a Liverpool fan. They're my favorite in the Premier League, but still, it's like Jurgen. Jurgen Klopp's my favorite manager, but still, it's like Jurgen. If you want to, who takes a loss more badly, Jurgen Klopp or Deontay Wilder? They should have a duel. Okay, there it is, Vinicius. Oh shit! Very close to being a penalty. Tony Cross, fucking. I love Tony Kroos, okay? As a kid, like 12 or 13 playing, I used to watch his highlights at Bayern Munich, and I was like, dude, how is no one talking about this kid? This kid's the fucking... He's the shit. Oh, my goodness gracious. (sighs) My goodness gracious. We're going to find out if I can actually play, if you can, if the audio is allowed to play on YouTube, maybe they'll copyright me or whatever, but this is hard to watch without the commentary of Ray Hudson. Oh, that's fucking amazing, bro. A double deflection. When have you ever seen that? Jordi Alba tries to clear it off the line and ends up heading it into the back of his own net. Very hard position for Jordi Alba. It didn't look like he could actually do much with it. It looks like he can, but when you take into consideration, you know, it was raining for the... It doesn't look like it was raining in this half of the match, but... Okay, there we go. Vinicius, fucking fast. No... (laughs) Hey, he finished two against Liverpool. That's pretty solid, but... I would... I still really question his ability to finish. Look at it. He can slice and dice, and he can... He's faster than everybody, but... I don't know. Sometimes Vinicius is a little bit of a liability to have on your squad. And Barca can still pass their ass off. It's just they're missing that final one or two passes that connect them to the actual goals. Okay, here we go. Vinicius breakaway. He flings it to Fede. Oh my God. Fede Valverde on a good breakaway. Doesn't whiff the shot, but it goes off the post. Fuck. Just making sure that shit doesn't go out on me. Okay, here we go. Fede Valverde takes it on the volley from a corner. Benzema, second hack at it. Okay, here we go. It looks like uh, this is the point. This is the juncture in the match when uh, Antoine Griezmann is going to come on. In for Serginho Dest. Listen, I promise I didn't watch it. I was just watching these uh, updates on my phone, like the news articles. 36 minute Barcelona on the ball again. Attacking with three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Attacking with eight players, basically. I think Barcelona, from what it looked like, the reports coming out was going out there with a 3-5-2 at the beginning of the game. Looks like they kind of followed that. Here we go. Ah, shit. See, that's the shit that fucks up Real. Is they're honestly very disciplined defensively and have been for a very long time. I would even say the Jose Mourinho years against Barcelona. Not the first couple fixtures, but of course, Jose got it right like towards the end of his tenure. Um when when you're playing against Barca and you are playing deep and just letting them attack, when you're in transition and in the midfield, you cannot give up the ball. You cannot, 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 cannot give up the ball. You're going to die. If they pick you off, if you're Tony Kroos or Luka Modric and Barcelona picks you off attacking with like three or four players, you're fucked, bro. You are fucked. I mean, easier said than done. Oh, holy fucking Christ.
Lionel Messi almost just scored from a corner kick. He hit the post. Holy fuck. I wish I could play this and show you guys. I'm doing my best to commentate it, though. There we go. Okay. Barcelona. Again, if you're a Real Madrid fan, which I am, and you're watching the Clasico, it's one form of stress. But if you have a 2-0 lead against Barcelona, no matter what point, uh, no matter what point in time the lead is at, you're always fucking shitting bricks that Barcelona is going to come back because they, you know, so often do. Even this form of Barcelona, the Ronald Koeman form, uh, 2020-2021 teams, you know, maybe they're not the flashiest, maybe they're not the Barca of old with, you know, that in, insanely good midfield, but they are resilient and they will come back from a 2-0 lead. That's what's strange. Like the Pep Guardiola's Barcelona almost never had to make a comeback. Uh, Luis Enrique's Barcelona is just notorious at making comebacks. I would even say with Tata Martino, they could still come back. Uh, but this new Ronald Koeman-inspired Barcelona is one of the most resilient teams I've I've seen in recent years. Okay, now it's raining pretty hard. It's looking like a rainy night in Stoke. We'll see how messy he does. What if he fucks up? I hope he does. Luka Modric, goat. God, I hope my camera doesn't give out. I really fucking hope. I only got like 39 minutes left of filming, and that never seems accurate. Okay, here we go. Okay, now Barcelona's just, they were caught in the attack. Now they only got three at the back, and <sighs> Tony Kroos fucks his, fucks up his lines. Look, oh, dude, look at Zidane in the fucking trench coat. That's vicious. That's a vicious trench. In the rain, Zidane looks like a fucking spy, bro. It's almost as if I feel like, because I'm drinking that little hard kombucha, I feel like you guys can smell me through the mic. I smell like fucking booze right now. That, Three in the afternoon. Ray Hudson's Hayden because Real Madrid is winning and his boy Messi is absent. Apart from almost scoring that banger. Holy shit. Griezmann missed a sitter, but he was offsides. 54th minute. You know, Ray Hudson is obviously a Barcelona and Messi fan. I mean, he could be as neutral as he wants, but when, you know, it, it seems from his commentary, he, he just prefers Barcelona, Barcelona the dog, these motherfuckers. I'm a Lionel Messi fan. Everyone in the world should be a Lionel Messi fan, but Ray Hudson just... If Messi's having a bad game, the El Clasico sucks, you know? Here we go. Ah, uh, son of a fucking bitch. Casemiro did a through ball. Casemiro think he, thought he got fouled. Hit a through ball to Benzema, and Benzema was too far away from it. Benzema charging, 56 minute. Blast it. Fucking wide. Fuck. Mingesa, 58th minute. Dembele. Crossing it in. Whiffs away. Almost out for a throw in. Jordi Alba's there. Mingesa, there he is, outside of the boot, makes it 2-1 in the 59th minute. Crazy, crazy weather going on right now. I mean, it's raining cats and fucking dogs. Holy shit, this doesn't even look like Spain anymore. This looks like fucking Scottish League, Scottish Premier League shit right here. Is Celtic playing? Look at outside of the boot, Mingesa, that's nasty. That's a nasty finish in the rain. Crossed in. Everyone whiffs it. Fucking three. Frankie and Antoine Griezmann just whiff it. And Mingesa is like, I'll sweep up for you fucking... F f oh, I was going to say fags. I don't know if I'll be copyrighted or you know taken off YouTube or whatever. But I needed to say it. All right, I said it. Fuck it. Take a video off. I don't give a fuck. Get messy. Loving it. 
Yeah, Messi's looking kind of old this game. He looks like a fucking Greek god with the big-ass beard and the rain coming on him. He's like a tiny Zeus. Oh, there he is. There he is. Vinny in. Oh, my God. Almost a classic Vinicius goal with a deflection into the bottom corner. Fuck off the post. Here it is. Scary as fuck. Dude, if I was watching the game, I'd be shitting myself right now. Barcelona attacking. Literally in the box. Holy fuck. 62nd minute. Ah, son of a fucking bitch. Okay, it looks like Real Madrid always defended with four on the counterattack. They were never caught out. Oh, Messi whiffs the fucking ball. 67th minute. Shit. Shit. Dude, I already know the result of this game, but you know I'm a fucking fan, and you know this game gets everyone going when in the highlights you're worried that your team's going to lose. You already know the result. Why am I stressing? Okay, Barcelona. Looks like they hit the counterattack with three, four, five. Five and two trailing. Yeah, it's a three, five, two. They still stuck with it. You know, this cannot be Ronald Koeman's fault. I mean, Barcelona is looking pretty good so far. It's just they're missing that final pass, which, you know, could be due to the weather. Holy fuck, Dembele almost scored 74th. Oh, I'm being racist. That wasn't Dembele. I don't know who that was. Some young black African-American. African. <laughs> Not even American. African, whatever he is. African-Spanish guy. Holy Santa Claus shit. Mariano, I'd put it, Mariano's solid. I fucking always put him in the game. I'd pick Mariano 10 times out of 10 over Vinicius. Are you fucking kidding me? Isco, oh. Can Isco just find his form again? I miss this fucking guy. Look at Zidane, classy as fuck, bro. He's like, Isco, I'm not choosing you week in and week out for, you know, 50 weeks on end, but I'm still going to clap at that attempt. Classy. Oh, here we are, 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 here we are. What the fuck? Damn near cleared off the line by uh, Mendy. Shit, what the fuck happened? 89th minute. Oh my god, I'd be stressing. I'm stressing now. I already know the result. The Messi against like seven. Literally, Real's parking the bus right now. It's 10 on 11 pretty much. Son of a bitch. Was that a red card, though? Come on. Casemiro gets a red in the 89th. I remember this shit. Fuck. Casemiro. Boom. Nacho. Solid. What, what happened? What happened? How was that a foul? Fuck you, dude. Oh, yeah. He kind of set up a screen. I see it. There it is, Courtois is too big. He's worth all the money just for that. I'd pay him $100 million just to catch one of Messi's free kicks a year. Twice a year. Fuck. Okay, Barcelona literally attacking with 10. For the last four minutes, Real. Oh, they kind of fluffed their lines right there, Real Madrid did. Looking pretty solid, though. Outside of the 18, Dembele tries to take a shot. He's trash. Ninety first, ninety second, ninety second minute. Big ass free quick free kick free kick from Courtois. Here we are, Marcelo. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That was a golden opportunity. I miss Marcelo. We need you to return back to your full form. Look, Ray Hudson just. It was a off the crossbar attempt from inside the 18 that keeps it 2-1 for Real Madrid. 
Real Madrid gets the three points. Barcelona with the fat fucking zero. Holy fuck. Real Madrid goes top of the table, but Atletico has a chance to go top of the table tomorrow. If I watched this game, I would have legit been in the ICU right fucking now recording this podcast. Holy shit. What a classico. All right, babies. It's been nice. I don't know why I called you babies. It's just, um, I just, whenever I address my audience, it's either boys and girls like I'm a fucking, <laughs> it's either boys and girls like I'm a fucking substitute teacher or it's um, ladies and gentlemen. Like I'm about to fucking show you some, uh, show you King Kong or some shit. Or number three, it's fucking babies. Like you guys are like little babies, or you're my babies. Um, I don't know why I say I'm not copying Crystalia. It just comes into my fucking mind. I can't help it. All right, um, enough of me, Carlos Mencia, Mencia ing everybody, and uh, stay tuned for more. Peace.